Hey, got a new helicopter today. This is an Emax. It's called an RC transporter. It looks like a CH-47 actually uh, because it's got external engines and uh, four landing gears. And uh, it, uh, it's got a 3.7 volt, 450 milliamp LiPo battery in it. It's kind of rotating. It says it has an intelligentized RC system, newly designed electricity saving function, real 3D airplane lifelike RC omnidirectional flight, ascending, descending, turn left, turn right, forward and backwards. So let's open it up, see what we got in the box here folks. That cute little bugger. Alright, let's unhook everything. Okay, I've got it charging right now. Uh, also, I've put a white mark right there on the plug and the helicopter. I can never see which way to plug those little jacks in. So, uh, it's charging and uh, just showing you the inside of this machine. It looks very interesting. So let's hope it gets charged pretty soon. Okay, the way the trims work on this, this is kind of weird. The right stick actually controls the yaw of the helicopter this way. Uh, normally that function is on this stick and I wish I could change that. This knob up here trims for forward and backwards of the helicopter. So you want to do it only on a smooth surface and adjust that just to pick it up a little bit and trim that so that your forward and backward is correct. The other knob on this side is left and right and that means left and right on the rudder or the rear of the helicopter. You've got your up and down here, your forward and back and you can control them all but you do need to trim this first. So I've gone ahead and trimmed it and uh, I'm gonna try and fly it right now uh, and see if we can get some altitude out of it. So here we go. Looks like right here, that little tiny bit of nicking is happening right there. This fly bar weight on the top and this top blade nick each other in flight. So I'm going to look at maybe grinding a little off of each. Okay, here's what I'm going to do to make this helicopter a little more controllable for me anyway. I'm going to take this gimbal out. This is the, right now the throttle gimbal. 
and that as as it should be. But I'm going to put it over on this side, and I'm going to remove this gimbal. I'm going to put it on this side. Now I'm going to have to turn this gimbal all the way around so the wires will reach from here, and I'll be able to plug them in. Okay, now I'm going to unscrew all the screws on the front panel here with my uh, electric screwdriver to drop this gimbal out. All right, now that gimbal is going to just pop right out of here. We're going to put it on the other side. Okay, this is the gimbal I'm going to put on this side now. And you've got to keep these lined up. So I'm going to lengthen these wires. And you need to remove this spring and put the ratchet over here because this is going to be the throttle. And I'm going to put a uh, groove here so the throttle trim lever will fit in there. It's just the fastest way to do it other than taking all the gimbals apart. And I'm going to just use my motor tool to do it. Okay, that. there you can see I've put the groove right here. And uh, now the uh, the gimbal is going to fit right in there, and the throttle lever is going to fit there, and so this will be a, a whole lot better to to uh, to do, and that's just going to fit right in there just like that. And on the front, you can see this is where the trim lever is going to be now. For you folks that are the always throttle. asking me about how to get rid of the ratchet, all you have to do is there's this little arm that's a ratchet, and there's a little half a gear here with teeth on it. All you have to do is slide a piece of uh, silicone tubing over that uh, ratchet arm and then when you uh, run your throttle up and down now it's nice and smooth there's still tension on there but you can see that's nice and smooth. That's how you do it. The next thing we have to do is unsolder the yellow wire and the black wire and switch them around on the right hand pot. Uh, that's because the pot is reversed in the transmitter now. And there are no reversing switches. Okay, the right hand side is done. Cable's hooked in. Now we're going to do this one now. I have to switch the wires on this pot also to the opposite sides and lengthen them so they'll reach over here uh, and be able to plug into this. And the next thing I did was done. just punch a hole right through here and put a screw in it so I can run these rubber bands and I'm just going to mount it onto this uh, post up here when I put the lid on. That way the uh, cent uh, stick centers by itself with the rubber bands. And uh, it's a temporary fix for right now. I'll we'll see if it works. Okay, you can see what I've done. I have a trim switch right over here for the throttle. Instead of over here, it's here. And now I have a uh, nice smooth throttle on this side and tail rotor here on this side just by moving this stick. So this is the more natural way to do it. Trim switch is the same, fore and back, same thing over here, left and right. On this side now, uh, the rubber band uh, acts as a spring and that centers itself. It does not go left and right, but it does go up and down. So this is fore and aft, left and right tail rotor and throttle up and down. And let's go ahead and try it. Okay, we're going to use my modified transmitter and see how this thing flies. These knobs are the trim for fore and back, left and right, and in addition to the trims. Now you see instead of my throttle trim here, now it's out here. I put it there. So let's see if I can control this a little better. And that's just because I need my rudder over here on this helicopter. There we go.
That's just great. It's cute, huh? Very good. I like this a lot. Another cool little toy.